What's going on guys? Welcome back to some more 7 Daily Sins Grand Cross and this might be obvious and I might not even need to make this video but just for new players out there who just don't understand certain things and don't understand the entirety of the game because this game isn't Japanese. Uh, not everyone's in a Discord, not everyone's trying to translate everything. Uh, people might not even play the game because they just don't understand what's going on so I want to put as much information out there as possible so that people have everything they need to understand and play the game to its full potential because this game is really fun it has a lot of great amazing elements it has a lot of great things to it but obviously it's in japanese and if you don't understand what's going on then you probably won't even get the get the game uh any time because it's kind of like well i don't know i don't know what to do well, bro i don't want to play but the game is really fun so i want to talk about how do you summon demons so we have two demons in the game currently the red demon and the gray demon the red demon is the red boss fight the green de demon is the blue boss fight. Now, the the way to summon them, what you can do while uh, you see the little dual swords, you click that, you click the boss section, and uh, as you can see, you have six stages currently. Only, there's only six in the game. I believe with chapter seven, they will come up with another one, but uh, right now, there's only six. So what you need to do is that when you fight these, you'll get a certain percentage, and that percentage will eventually get up to 100%. Uh, 100%. And once you get to 100%, you will thus unlock either the red demon or the blue demon. It seems like just random. Sometimes you get red demon. Sometimes you get uh, the blue demon, gray demon, whatever. Same thing. It seems to be random to me. But you want to hop into one of these. And you want to get the bar to 100%. When it hits 100%, then you will summon the demon. But obviously, you have to beat it. And the fastest way to do is obviously to go to extreme. If you can't do extreme, you can auto hard. You can auto normal. And eventually you'll get to 100%, thus summoning the demon. Now, it looks like the percentages can be a bit random to me, but I think, you know, obviously this will give you maybe 4%, this will give you 8%, this will give you 12%, and you're either going to summon the demon the very next fight, or you might have to get up to like 54% until it just goes up to 100 by itself because it eventually will just jump to 100. It's not going to let you, you know, accumulate 4% up until 100 you're going to accumulate a certain percentage and this is going to jump up to the 100% automatically. So, going to do a couple fights for you guys. Uh, this is a team that I'm rocking right now. Uh, right now, we are facing, you know, the majority red cards. So, I do want to bring, you know, my Slater. Okay, let's hop into this. There's a team. So, I kind of want to showcase this to you guys. Uh, this might take two or three matches. But I'm going to try to speed through this as fast as possible. Okay, I do want to show what I'm talking about right here. Uh, probably should have had a demon on the ready to, for you guys to see, but... I didn't do that. Anyway, so hopping in. Uh, so right off the bat, I do want to force fire on this guy. Uh, I could actually... Let me do this. Pop that off and seal their attacks. So this Gother, he seals your attacks, but only if they're damaging attacks. If the attacks have any effect on them, the attack seal doesn't, doesn't happen. Uh, the blue Gother seals any effects. So if an attack has an effect on it, it is still sealed. So... You know, depending on, you know, which go you want to use, they both have their, you know, cool utilities. Pop this off. Pop that off. Combine those. I don't need to petrify. So, I'm just going to continue with the damage. There we are. Bop. And yes, I did pick up Gother for 7 coins. I don't regret it. I do not freaking regret it at all. My Gother has been really good to me. Helped me out quite a bit with my team. So, I, I don't regret it at all, to be honest. Uh, I do need a heal, looks like. That's a bit concerning. Okay. Oh, 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 don't, 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 no, don't, oh, ooh, yikers, okay, we're gonna do this, uh, we're gonna petrify Kane. don't wanna deal with him, and then we're gonna heal up, bop, I don't know what he's actually saying, I just kinda whatever, okay, nice heal there, I'll take it, next turn we're gonna have a king alt, uh, we could have a gother alt, depending on what I wanna do here, okay, I think I'm gonna go for the gother alt as well, so, you pop this, Gother, that's an ultimate, that's an ultimate, and uh, we can just combine these two, why not? So seal them up, and then we have two AoE ultimates on the ready, exactly what I want. Uh, I do want those AoE ults, nicers, nicers, okay. This should wipe the map, and then we have uh, Gearmore, the last boss, with well, the last character, last opponent to fight. Pop this off, pop this off, and just in case someone doesn't die, we have that on the ready. Bop. Ooh, okay. This should kill. Gother. 
Nice, 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 nice. And then we're on the very last phase. Now, this is one of six stages. You can fight to summon a demon, obviously. Uh, I'm using this one because I've already started accumulating percentage on this fight. But, uh, you know, it's literally any single boss fight. It doesn't matter. And then we can petrify. Seal him up, which doesn't matter now because I'm going to petrify. Slater's just not creating that much, huh? I have Slater build with crit plus crit damage. So crit rate up and crit damage, but he's not really doing the most. Let's uh, pop this off. Oh, freaking pop up. Pop this off. Get that go in. Bro. Yo, I need to disable these frick. Oh my god, bro. I need to disable these things. Yo, I say it every single video and I just don't ever do it. I just forget. All, to be very honest with you guys, I just forget. But I need to disable these freaking pop ups. Okay. So I'm either just going to get up to uh, 24% or I'm just going to get to 100%, depending on what they want to do here. Ooh, I'll take that. Ooh, ooh, cheeky. Ooh. So I'm going to go up to 24%. Okay, let's do it again. Let's do it again. So yeah, extreme will jump up by 12% every single match. So, you know, you're going to spend less time, obviously, something the boss if you do extreme. But I know not everyone has a team for that, so it depends on you, to be very honest. Let's do this, and let's just get the petrify off. Why not? Crit. Nice. Crits. Bop, 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 bop. Ooh, cheeky. 25k. Ooh. And then we petrify. Good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. Uh, so on the field, I do have Gother's Attack Seal. I will be using that. We're going to pop this off. Get the Attack Seal. Combine those. Work up to getting uh, King's Ultimate as well. Nice. So you do have an ult on the ready. I will be popping this off. And I guess... Mm, what do I want to do here? I think I'll combine those two silvers from Gother and just make it into a goal. Nice. So you pop that off and get the ultimate off. Nice. So two really good AoE attacks. Good AoE there. And then hopefully Gother, not Gother, King. Oh, no one died. Okay, that's interesting. Huh. King's ultimate usually wipes the map. Usually wipe. Well, they're pretty much dead to be honest. Like they're pretty much dead to be very honest with you guys. Okay, we heal, get that ultimate off, and then we combine these two. Why not? Nice. This kills King. Nice. Oh, Kane. Cool. Almost done here. So I do have... Ooh. I'm going to combine these two here so I can get the goal Petrify. Not that I need it, but, you know, just to kind of get it off. Then the goal Petrify. Nice, 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 nice. No crits? Oh, no crits. Oh, no crits. Bop. That's a crit. I'll take it. Some crits? No crits. That's fine. He's petrified for two turns, but I'm going to probably break it right now. Yeah, I'm going to break it. Because I have the ultimates when they're ready. Do that. Let's do that. And uh, that's GG. That is GG. No crits. That's fine. And then King's going to wipe it. Yo, King does a lot of damage, man. Jesus. That's AoE, bro. That's a lot of damage. Okay. 100%. 100%. Let's go. Oh, we didn't jump, bro. No. Okay, let's do it one more time. One more time. I need to summon the boss so you guys can see what I'm talking about. My God damn it. Uh, I wish I could have speed run this a bit faster, to be fair. But I didn't. Okay, one more go. I'm just going to go, man. I'm just going to do attack soft. Like, it doesn't matter. Let's just hit him as hard as possible. Let's get the ultimates off as fast as possible. Nice crits. Nice crits. Good shit. That was about 60k. Just leave him alone. 60k damage from two skills is pretty good. It's pretty freaking good. Uh, let's do some damage on this guy over here. Pop that off. Use this. I know I'm breaking the petrify, but I don't really, I don't really don't need it, to be honest. Uh, actually, I could pop this off. Pop that off, and um, yeah, there we go. That might have been better, to be honest. So yeah, that's fine. This might have been better, to be very honest with you guys. I don't know. We'll see. Petrified damage, good stuff. 
Have a gold petrifier on the ready. Ooh, nice. I'm a t Ooh, cheeky. Okay. That is some really nice things on the board right there. I'll take it. Kane, bro. He. Oh, no. Don't kill Slater. Oh, my God. Slater almost died. Uh, so, I'm going to get this. Uh, yeah, I'm going to get this off the gold. Pop that off. And we're going to heal with the king. Nice. Seal him for two turns. Make sure he doesn't super us. Or ultimate us, whatever you want to call it. King is one orb away from an ultimate. So is Slater. So, going to get their ults this turn coming now. Ooh, Slater has a goal. Let's go. I'm going to take that goal. I'm going to take that. We get this off. Uh, Slater can force fire on... I guess it doesn't matter. Can attack him and then King can do his most over there. Bop. Ooh, almost dead. This one actually kills. Slater might kill. Slater kills, right? Oh, nice. Jeez Louise. And then that's some good. Yeah, 20k base. That's some good damage there. Two alts off. So, I'm hoping this, the alt from King kills. Eh, I don't know. Let's see. Use the alt. Target gear more. And then if Kane doesn't die, we're going to just do that as well over there. So that's fine. Bop. Oh, nice, bro. Nice with the crit. Look at the crit. That was clean. Crit. Ooh. Almost. Almost dead. Getting this kill? Nope. Too much health left. Too much health remaining. Okay. He dies here, obviously. He doesn't live this. Okay, we're going to pop the one star off, get this off, and that combines into a three star, and that's GG. Hopefully, we summon the demon now. This kills. Nice. I'll take it. Come on, bro. Come on. Can I summon? No chalices. That sucks. Demon. There we go. Jumped up to 100%. Now, we've summoned the gray demon, aka the blue demon. And now we can hop into the actual fight. So once you complete this portion of it, it's going to ask you if you want to automatically hop in or continue your fight, whatever you want to do. Uh, right now, if I click OK, I'll hop into the Blue Dean, which is exactly what I'm going to do right now. As you can see, there he is. And you have an hour between summoning him until he goes away. So when you summon him, the timer starts to count down. You have an hour to enter the fight, thus beating him. Uh, if you wait past the hour, he just goes away. So, yeah, you don't want to do that. Now, something that you don't want to make a mistake on is when you back out. Uh, if you back out and do something, you want to come back in. Do not click the left. The left will disperse the demon. He'll go away. You want to click the right button to enter the fight back in. So, you know, just don't make that mistake, guys. Anyways, quick video. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy the video, make sure you leave a like, share, comment down below. If you're not subscribed, make it a thing. Sub to the boy, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.